Welcome to my childhood bedroom. You might recognize this poster from a previous video that I've since taken down because a few of you point out that there was a minor mistranslation. So even after 13 years of French, it's still not my native language. So thank you, Michelle Lelouch and others for pointing out my error. Um, now this is a poster from 1895-ish by Jean-Louis Forin, and it's for the sheet music to the opera La Boheme. So you'll see the title for the opera in the upper right-hand corner in this beautiful kind of hand-drawn font. And then Puccini, the composer, and then G. Ricordi. Ricordi was the publisher of numerous amounts of sheet music. Um, they also published a lot of posters in Italy for operas. And then below that is something I think is really interesting. It basically translates to this poster can only be displayed indoors. Uh, it was called a bookstore poster, which meant it wasn't subject to the same tax laws as posters that were pasted outside, like the others that I've shown you from my home in, in New York. Um, so this poster was a point of sale item that you would see inside a bookstore or somewhere else where sheet music was sold. Now, if you know the poster by Ricordi that for the opera in Italy, it's a completely different image. You see all these beautiful, colorful characters tumbling over the name of the opera, whereas this one is very intimate, very, very subdued in these, these cool sepia tones. Um, and this is a moment from the end of the opera. We have Mimi, the, the heroine of the, of the opera, laying on the bed dying of tuberculosis. Um, and then you'll see the slanted ceiling of the garret and Montmartre off in the distance. And you'll see in her hands is a muff. The muff was a really uh, a touching moment in the opera where her friend Musetta pays all this money at the end um, to buy her friend her dying wish. She didn't want her hands to be so cold anymore. And if you go to the Met and you see a production of this, uh, there's usually a moment where, where, where um, Mimi's hand just falls out of the muff, and that's when the audience knows that she's dead, but the characters don't yet know. So it's a very touching, very intimate moment that I think makes this a standout poster in the opera genre.